In this video, we are going to look at absolute value equations where we have absolute value symbols on both sides of the equal sign. Instead of looking at two cases, we actually need to look at four different cases because on both absolute values, you can be to either side of zero. So we will have the positive positive case where the left and right sides are both multiplied by positive one, the positive negative case where the left side would be multiplied by positive one, the right side would be multiplied by negative one, the negative positive, which is the opposite of the previous case, and then also negative negative. For the positive positive, we will have the equation x minus one plus two is equal to five minus two x. For the positive negative, the left hand side will also be x minus one plus two. And then on the right hand side, we multiply everything inside the absolute value by a negative one. Continuing on, we need to only multiply what's inside the absolute value by negative one. So we have negative times the quantity x minus one, and then the two is going to stay plus two because it is outside of the absolute value. And then the right hand side will stay five minus two x, because in this case we're looking at the right hand side as positive. And then for the negative negative, we'll have negative times the quantity x minus one, a positive two, And then we will have equals negative 5 minus 2x. Now I'm going to go through and solve each of these equations. Back to the first one, I can combine like terms. So we'll have x plus 1 is equal to 5 minus 2x. Add 2x to both sides. Subtract 1 from both sides. Things that zero out, so I have 3x is equal to 4, and then x will be 4 thirds. For the next equation, I can combine, so I will have x plus 1, and when I distribute, I get negative 5 plus 2x. I can add 5 to both sides and subtract x from both sides. 0, 0, so I will have 6 equals x. Moving on, distributing negative x plus 1 plus 2 is equal to 5 minus 2x. So negative x plus 3 is equal to 5 minus 2x. Add 2x to both sides, subtract 3 from both sides. 0, 0 and I have x is equal to 2. And in the last equation, I will have negative x plus 1 plus 2 is equal to negative oh, 5, excuse me, and then we will have a plus 2x here. So I can add x to both sides, add 5 to both sides. This right here is going to give me a 3. I have a zero and a zero there. So then three plus five will give me eight. Two x plus x will give me a three x. And then I'll have eight thirds is equal to x. In summary, that means that for the positive positive answer, we have x is equal to four thirds. For the positive negative answer, we had x equals six. The negative positive, we have x equals 2. And for the negative negative, we had x equals 8 thirds. All right, I will plug in 4 thirds for x. So I have the absolute value of 4 thirds minus 1, which is the same thing as 3 thirds, plus 2, which is the same thing as six thirds. And that will be equal to the absolute value of five minus two times four thirds. This simplifies to the absolute value of one third plus six thirds. 
And then the absolute value of one third is one third, so I can add those together to get seven thirds. And then on the right hand side, I will have five minus eight thirds. And then I can multiply top and bottom by three, so I will have fifteen thirds minus eight thirds, which is seven thirds. Oh, I forgot my absolute value symbol since that answer is positive. The absolute value is also positive, so we have five, seven thirds equals seven thirds. Because that is a true statement, I now know that x equals 4 thirds is an answer. Checking the next answer, x equals 6, I will plug it in to 6 minus 1 plus 2 is equal to the absolute value of 5 minus 2 times 6. 6 minus 1 is 5 plus 2, and then the absolute value of 5 is 5 plus 2 is 7. And then on the right hand side, I will have 5 minus 12. And then I need to bring down my absolute value symbol. And the absolute value of negative 7 is positive 7. So those two are indeed equal. Sorry about that messy equal sign. But that tells us that x equals 6 is also an answer. Plug in x equals 2, absolute value of 2 minus 1 plus 2 is equal to the absolute value of 5 minus 2 times the quantity 2. So then I have 2 minus 1, which is 1, plus 2. That gives me a 3. And then I have the absolute value of 5 minus 4, which is 1. And those are not equal, so x equals 2 is an extraneous solution. It does not work. And last but not least, I will check x equals 8 thirds. So I have 8 thirds minus 3 thirds plus 6 thirds. Again, I'm putting everything in thirds so it's easy to add. Equals 5 minus 2 times 8 thirds. And then 8 thirds minus 3 thirds will get me 5 thirds plus 6 thirds. I do still have this absolute value there. It's positive. When I add them together, I will get 11 thirds. Then on the right hand side, I will have 5 minus 16 thirds. That again will be 15 thirds equals negative 1 third. These two are not equal, so x equals 8 thirds is not a solution. And that tells us that the answer to this absolute value equation, we have two answers, x equals 4 thirds and then x equals 6. Thank you, and please let your teacher know if you have any questions when you see them tomorrow. Bye-bye!